Hi everyone, welcome to another Doug's Lab video. In this video, I'm going to be running my foundry made from the 9mm bullet atomizer. Uh, as you can see, I have my whole setup hooked up right here. Um, we have the compressor sitting in cooling water right here, the starting capacitor, the uh, sock air filter, uh, air line goes this way, fuel jug lit with diesel fuel, uh, fuel line which leads up to the fuel valve. We have the air bleed valve right here and the pressure gauge which I can control the airflow with. And of course, this goes into the atomizer which shoots into furnace, which has a new KOL lining on uh, the lid for lightness, but the furnace is still made of refractory. Um, yeah, we got blower controls, and basically what I'm doing is melt that scrap that is over there, and uh, I'm pour it into these muscle tents using my big crucible. If all goes well, that is if the atomizer works, but uh, I'm quite sure that it's going to work. So, um, yeah, without further ado, I'm going to light it up. All right. For this part, uh, I'm going to test the atomizer out just to make sure that it's working okay with the fuel. And uh, basically, I'm just going to turn on the air compressor and turn on the fuel and see the atomization. So, I've got here the control for my uh, the pump over there and everything else for that matter. Actually, let me turn my blower off. I was testing that earlier. So, air is on. Bleed valve is closed. We are climbing to about 30 psi and the fuel valve is shut. So when I open the fuel valve, theoretically we should be getting a lot of diesel vapor, or a lot of atomized diesel. That's perfect. And I can open the bleed valve again. Just stop atomization anytime I want. Perfect. Okay, well, let's get the compressor off. All right, now we're gonna start the furnace. Uh, to start it, basically I'm just gonna go over here, take a piece of paper. Crunch it up, I have to get diesel fuel on it. And of course the easiest way to do that is to put it in front of the atomizer for a little bit. I should move this control over here somewhere. Open the bleed valve. Fuel is off right now. Okay, torch is lit. Diesel's lit inside there. Close the fuel valve. Close the bleed valve. More fuel. There we go. I'm gonna let this run for a few minutes. I'm gonna cut the video, and I'll get back when I'm actually melting something or when it fails or something. So, all right, all right until then. Well, now I'm gonna try and melt something with it, which I need my other crucible for. So, I'm gonna shut her down, take the old one out, and put the new one in. 
Alright, first thing, fuel off. Air off. Lead valve open. And my tongs are nowhere to be found. Right here. Alright, come over here, videographer. Ready? It's hot in there. It's really quite hot. And my crucible is at about 1600 degrees. Don't want to drop that on the lawn, huh? I'll let that cool over there. I'm going to swap out with this crucible. I'm going to get a chunk of aluminum in it. Got a lot of extra diesel burning off. I'm going to start the air. Have a look down in there. Anyway, the lid goes back on. Turn the fuel back on. Turn the air back on. Back up the full tilt. As you can see, I need a better insulating refactory because it cools off on the inside very quickly. I don't know if it's because the air coming in is cooling it off or if it's conducting to the outside. But we'll know when that paint starts burning off. Turn it off and pour the aluminum. Here we go. Ready for this? Watch yourself because it is blazing hot. Comfortable. Skim the dross. Yeah, holy hell, is that uncomfortable? Get a, get a picture of inside there. See that? That's molten aluminum. I need a better dross skimmer because if I splash my hand with this, it's annihilated. Oh, look, I'm melting my. I'm deforming it anyway. Oh, I was going to skim this into a bucket of water, that's what. Okay. That's going to get cold quick, so this goes in the bucket of water. This goes over here real fast. Before my aluminum solidifies. Muffin, another muffin, making ingots so I can do future castings. All right, that's about it. I'll just wait for these to solidify. Put the lid back on my furnace. Actually, seems to be doing just fine. Check out the inside of the furnace. It's still glowing. Orangish. Alright, I'm gonna refuel it. Probably close to about three quarters of a gallon. You wanna see instant relight? All you gotta do is turn the switch. 
this way. <laughs> in there we're gonna pour it this time i'm not gonna forget my dross bucket use for cooling this i'm gonna heat up my muffin pan a little bit because it's got water in it water's gone all right Macro. I almost got the copper temperatures. I really gotta watch it because I oxidize that aluminum like crazy. That's bad. Look how hot it is in there. Whew. Yeah, you know, I could really try copper if I get a clay crucible, which is not an impossibility. Okay, and the outside seems to be doing alright too. Huh. Okay, here we go. It's heavy. Check it out. It's okay. That's not gonna pop. Come closer. Okay. Skimming it. Come up aluminum. 1,200, 220 degrees. Four time. Already, and the rest in there is just slag, I think. This is popping at me like crazy. <laughs> you see how the aluminum doesn't isn't so shiny? It's kind of got a. Uh, see, it's really gassy. Let me see this camera. See the gas bubbles coming out of it? It's like boiling. It looks like, but it's just it's degassing because the solubility of the gas is going down like this. Old. So, and this is the crucible. It's awful and nasty right now. Definitely have to knock that out. I could probably remelt some of that, please. And the inside of the furnace, cooling down nicely. The tip of the burner is glowing a little bit. It's a hot spot on the wall right there. But yeah, I, mean, I think it's just a total success. Anyway, over here, we have our muffins from before. Still just barely hot enough to touch. Hot, very, very hot. But uh, solid aluminum muffins. Notice the shrinkage is very high and there's a lot of slag in it. It's because the belt was a little too hot and also uh, it's very poor quality aluminum. So I'm gonna eventually have to remelt this. But uh, of course, that's in the process of making new things, so I can skim it off better then and alloy it with some of my better aluminum to uh, get a decent alloy with low shrinkage and things like that. So yeah. All right. Well, that was the end of a successful melt. I declare my atomizer burner using the nine millimeter bullet a success. Uh, perfect, actually. And um, yeah, fuel control is a little finicky, but I'm pretty sure it's because there's crap in the fuel, uh, but that can be fixed easily. Uh, pressure's still running. Didn't really get hot at all, because I got the water in there, and that worked out perfectly. So yeah, that's uh, a successful foundry run for me. Well, 
This was another Doug's Live video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, rate, and comment.